Hello folks and welcome back to Communist Sweden for what I hope to be the last episode, but we don't know because uh, there are quite a few majors to defeat in uh, the Allies after all. I mean, Australia isn't a major, but one, we've got the invasion here in China to push away. Uh, two, we've got Brazil left. And three, we've got the United States and Canada. Canada shouldn't be too much of a problem, but the United States definitely is, especially considering their air superiority. Uh, but, I mean, of course, uh, Sweden alone won't be able to deal with that, so I think it will be in the hands of the Soviets for the most part. What we will do, though, is protect our uh, convoys uh, mo moving over to Great Britain here. Uh, kind of blockade Ireland, take over Ireland, move in, do some island hopping all the way to uh, I Iceland, and then maybe Greenland, and then maybe, just maybe, Newfoundland as well. Uh, and from there, over here, we can stage, not nukes, because, you know, they have the air superiority, but we can stage an invasion of sorts and help out the Soviets. Or maybe we could also divert our troops down to Southeast Asia and Oceania. Um, but we'll see. First of all, I've got to keep or take control of Britain, and uh, we do have quite a few factories available since I've put our territorial control on harshest there. Sorry, Brits, but you've got to work for me now. And we're really low on resources. Uh, I should definitely try to find some trade partners. The only problem is, of course, uh, the Atlantic is kind of dominated by, or at least in the trade routes, by Brazil and the United States of America, or rather the Communist States of America, and I'm not too keen on losing convoys, it's not exactly like we have many, and they're all busy right now. Venezuela has joined the Allies, actually, the Federal Republic of Venezuela, that's not great, I guess. Um, I mean, we'll still defeat them, of course, because we have... All of Eurasia and Africa on our side, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. The only threat really is the United States or the Communist States of America and the fact that they could potentially uh, nuke us, but I don't think the like the conditions for nuking it, I just haven't seen any country nuke anyone yet except me, so I, I do think that uh, we have the advantage here. Oh shit seems like uh, the push in China is not going very well at all. Uh, these are dark times. The Japanese People's Republic has capitulated. Well, crap. Oh, look at that. I've uh, fired some rockets over on Iceland, and they seem to be on their way. That's really cool. You know what? Resistance is still huge uh, throughout all the provinces and rising. And we actually have a supply shortage throughout... The British Isles. I know I I'm, I hate this. I hate to do this, but we we are going to actually have to cede control of the UK to the Soviet Union or someone else. It's probably going to be the Soviet Union because they have the most divisions and they can deal with this shit. Uh, but yeah, trade and supply over here is just. I need 118 convoys, and I'm currently building. Let's check it out. Um, 11 per year and even if I max this out that's two per month. That's just not good enough uh, I'm so very sorry. It just had to happen But we will try to, uh, our best when the peace deal comes around to puppet the UK or something of the sort. I think that's gonna be our um, Our hope we also need to take these things from Poland So we'll see but uh, the peace deal is quite a ways off. So let's actually focus on this first we have seven nukes, and uh, Tokyo has gone unnuked for a while. I know it's actually kind of useless, uh, especially since the UK has already surrendered, but... Uh, you know, if they're, if Tokyo doesn't continue being nuked, it's, it's just gonna not work. People are expecting nukes there, so we're gonna deploy one. Paratrooper Marines, because, you know, I don't have any Marines, I just have paratroopers, and I'm doing the naval invasions there. But it, uh, apparently there were five American divisions here. Uh, I think we'll win, though. I'm, I was considering dropping a nuke, though. Maybe. I'm gonna retreat, and then I'm gonna nuke the Faroe Islands. Uh, seems good. Oh, wait. Did I actually lose my commander? That's odd. Uh, that's really weird. Because I clicked the red button, but... Oh, well. 
I'm really sorry, Faroe Islands. You have a uh, great sheep around the place, but uh, in order to take it, I'm just gonna have to nuke you, even if it hurts my men. I just began the assault, and this should push them over the edge, I hope. I'm giving control of the Faroe Islands to Norway, because I've got to be nice to them, right? After having taken so much of their land. Um, then again, it's just until the peace treaty. Oh fuck, I just lost the army because I forgot to put my ship or escort uh, my ships on the escort of this sea zone here uh, and they were sunk. So I just lost four divisions right there. <sniffs> Shit. Um, what just happened? I engaged in battle here, but I thought I had sunk a bunch of their shit, not the other way around. Oh please, don't say I... Alright, so these guys are gonna continue. I was so afraid for a second, I thought we had lost all our crap. Yeah, but these guys are going back to port to repair, that's good. Ah, shit, seems like the UK took back the Faroe Islands, uh, but, or sorry, the Orkney Isles, but the Faroe Isles are still under Norwegian control. We pushed back in the American invasion, I don't know if I show that, and yeah, so we, we lost a few divisions in the convoy transport, but that's fine. We are fine. Uh, now, what do we do? That's the question. I am going to nuke Dublin again, because, uh, why not? It seems like a lot of fun. Kaboom. Sorry, Dublin. And uh, while we're at nuking, or while we're at it in nuking Dublin, I think we're, go we're gonna go for Belfast as well. Uh, just to make it equal for everybody on the Irish Isle. And I think we should also nuke probably this little province here as well. Sorry, Isle of Man, but you are also joining the Nuked Club. Uh, it's a prestigious club. Not many places have been nuked, actually, in the world. Or, well, I mean, we've nuked quite a few places. I see 19 divisions here. Seems like a an appropriate place to drop a tactical nuke. And another one here as well. I'm just gonna keep doing this until uh, I can help out this front. Sweden, the nuclear nation. We are pretty much, uh, yeah, bombarding them over here, and it seems to be working out really well, especially on this mountain, these mountain offensives. And uh, yes, I'm also building more nuclear power plants so we can raise our production speed. Uh, we're already at 3.5% a day, and so they don't take very long at all to produce. Actually, I don't know if this worked out, but I, I just nuked this uh, province over here, and suddenly the battle is going much better over here. I'm not sure. Actually, yeah, no, there are fewer defending units, of course, but... Well, we did some damage. I'm hoping uh, they actually close that gap and surround them. Uh-oh. Apparently... Uh, Venezuela and uh, what's this? The Philippines have landed troops in the British Raj, so I guess some Soviet troops will be uh, relayed down south, which uh, delays us over here. I mean, ah, oh, it's kind of annoying actually. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea has capitulated. Oh. Oh, so annoying. But uh, we'll nuke our way to Seoul again. Seoul? I I'm really bad at pronouncing, sorry. You know that by now. The Soviets just have so many divisions standing around doing literally nothing. Oh, it's actually kind of annoying. Like, I wish they could actually deploy shit against uh, the Americans over here. The Soviets seem to be doing a really risky maneuver right here, uh, pushing over into, I guess, uh, Kian, Kian, Kian Dao, right there, and uh, tr tr I guess pushing out from there, but I'm not sure that's really gonna work, I don't know. I fucking knew it. Oh, I hate them. They've been surrounded here, and I can't really support them, because look at that, they have a massive superiority. Oh, wait, maybe if we could just, uh, I don't know. And surrounded again. I hate them. How do they... Why? Why do you try this? I understand this kind of a blitz. But this deep? Really? It's kind of stupid. So at least this contingency here got into port and they might be able to 
get out of here, so that's good, but uh, these guys are still surrounded. Uh. Alright, time to invade Ireland. I think it shouldn't be too much of a problem. It says inferior enemy. We're gonna use uh, five infantry divisions. And yeah. Oh, and meanwhile, in China, though, I'm so worried. Uh, I've been nuking here, but they still pushed. They're almost at the Mongolian border. They've pushed back all the way here. Ah, uh, it's just not looking very good. I, I don't understand. I just don't understand how the Soviet Union with one quadrillion divisions can't hold back against like a few uh, hundred Americans. We failed because apparently they have divisions stationed there. We should uh, definitely nuke them before uh, continuing. I need to assign them back to this division there, or this army. Alright, we failed last time, but this time we won't fail. Uh, the plan's just gonna get ready in a few days, and then we'll nuke it, because uh, I moved over my strategic bombers over here. Uh, and in the meantime... Yeah, we'll have another nuke by the time we land in Belfast as well. It looks like the Soviets and Chinese are really trying to blitz. Uh, but it's kind of crazy, because th these are just su such risky moves, I, d I really don't understand. Seems to be working for now though, so I shouldn't really be complaining. Okay, so I've nuked Belfast there, but it doesn't seem to be working out as well as I expected. Oh my god. I don't understand this escort system. I really don't. They had 30 ships, or 15 ships, and I have 185 and they're all here, and for some reason my escorts just stay at the front of the battle. Ah, uh, kill me! I, I just lost another couple of five divisions. Five divisions of infantry. That's what. Let's see. Let's actually see this. Oh my god! That's a huge amount of men. Ugh, kill me. That's like yeah, over thirty-five thousand, forty thousand men right there. Just poof, gone. Oh yeah. So technically a victory, but it's not a victory because I lost all oh, all those men. Just, oh. Alright, now that we do have naval domination, and I'm pretty sure we do, because we have 100 and some, so ships, and Australia has 12, the UK has like 18, and the US in total has a maximum of 107, so we can definitely roam the seas freely, and I'm finally going to start doing some convoy raids along the Chinese coast and see if that helps. I hope that cuts down the American supply by quite a bit. Oh, I swear, I thought uh, this would just be done within the last year, and then we'd be, like, invading other stuff. And Ireland is also a tough nut to crack right now. It's just everything's being really painful and annoying. Why is this over here? That's actually really odd. Let's, uh... Make sure they... It has something to defend. I don't know why it's stationed over here. Oh, look at that. 14 trap divisions were actually 16 and another one there, so that's 17. And I think there have been uh, quite a few divisions that have already been overwhelmed in this region. Uh, I'm just going to look at the casualties. Seems like the Americans are taking quite a few losses. I think the aim here... I'm, I have really low manpower. I should keep an eye on that. Uh, but... The aim here is going to be to just allow the Americans to suffer more casualties than the Soviets and slowly, slowly run out of manpower, and I think that will give us the advantage. Now, I know this was pointed out to me, like, basically in the first episode, but uh, uh, the Swedish army was actually called Kriegsmakten before it was called Fischvorsmakten. Fischvorsmakten means the defense power, and the Kriegsmakten means the war power, and I knew that, that they only changed their name in the 70s or something, but I, I felt like it would be funny to have it as Fischvorsmakten. However, since uh, a lot of people seem to be commenting about that, I feel like, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll call it war power. It's not exactly like we've been very defensive in this war. The People's Republic of China is moments away from capitulation. This is not very... Uh, good at all, and Mongolia is uh, really close to having its capital taken. 
which I think pushes them over the edge. And this is just so annoying. I, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand how we can't defeat them. Taiwan, around 2,000 to 5,000 planes or 6,000. Uh, yes, we are going, or actually no, 8,000 planes in total. We should definitely nuke this place because it's uh, getting quite annoying. Guaoxiong. Pity that I don't have any nukes now, but I'll just wait five days. I really wonder if it's actually going to do any damage to the planes because nukes haven't been uh, very effective from what I've seen. They take down organization uh, and supply on troops, but they don't actually kill things. Oh, did we actually kill the airplanes? Oh my god, I think we did. Oh my god. Holy shit. Let's actually check the closest big airbase. Air map mode. I think, uh... I think we actually took out quite a few planes there. But they may have moved. Yeah, there's uh, still a good number there, but we'll keep nuking it until this is totally not usable at all. Uh, but yeah, that was I think that was quite successful. I wonder... I think we killed quite a lot of airmen there. Uh, let's check out the British. Where's the British flag? Let's see it. Come on. United Kingdom 3.515. I don't know. I think uh, we may have done some damage. Oh my god. I really thought this Let's Play would have ended like... 11 years ago, but let's see. The People's Republic of China has capitulated. These are dark times. Mao Zedong has announced that the Chinese nation can no longer withstand from uh, the pressure from the occupying American forces committing travesties throughout the country. The Chinese government has done gone into exile. Uh, their main forces have capitulated, and the Communist States of America is now in control of their home area. Ah, uh, No. No, no, no. This is all so disappointing, like, honestly, I thought we would win. I've, I've already said this, but it's just... Ah! I really want to move on to the next campaign, God damn it! And really, communism has already kind of won, because after all, the United States is communist. Uh, we turned the Mexicans over to communists, although they haven't joined yet. Good thing is that, like, I've turned a bunch of uh, states over here into communists, like, uh... The Bolivia Izquierdistas, uh, they, yeah, they're supporting Chile, but they don't seem to j want to join the faction. Of course, I'm not the faction leader, so I have no control over that, but I wonder why not. Okay, and this is also rather odd. I have no men fighting right now, except maybe the Navy. Maybe that's where they're dying, but it's kind of weird, because I'm just sinking convoys, right? And I'm not losing ships, I'm not losing men, I hope. Uh, and my air fleet, or my air force, is just... They're all resting. I haven't put anyone on anything. And yet, somehow... Or maybe it's these transports? I don't know. It's just really rather odd, because they... I'm at 20 manpower right now. It's not very good. I uh, wasn't really hoping for that. Because the only next step is scraping the barrel, and that's not really a great uh, thing to have, I guess. Holy shit, I just realized where my manpower is going. It's probably because, one, I'm producing more airplanes, and two, I'm producing more ships. So, we either... Yeah, we should probably stop producing shit, I guess. Ah, uh, you know what, let's go over to scraping the barrel. Uh, we could always revert if we need to. Oof, okay, that should give us some time, at least. I think we just did something fantastic. The, uh... The Americans just flushed troops into this region here. I know it's mountainous and all, but... Uh, they flushed troops in. There's huge attrition, right? Because they have a bunch of troops here. And... We are pushing through here, or the Soviets are. And they're kind of surrounded, so I guess supplies are low, and they are... Pretty much screwed. They're almost catching up in terms of casualties, so that's good. After all, the U.S. still has, or has, all adults served, so they should be decently close to going over to um, scraping the barrel. However, the Soviet Union also has all adults serve, and they, yeah, 
they've lost more power, but I think, I'm not sure, I should, I should probably check, but the Soviet manpower base is probably a lot larger than the American one. We are returning some territory to Japan here, because I realize we have a naval base and some stuff over here, but it's really, honestly, kind of useless to us. I hope the AI can use it better. Not that the Japanese AI has a lot to do with it, but uh, the Soviets might use it. Alright, you know what, let's do some uh, Lend-Lease to the Soviet Union. We'll do a bunch of airplanes uh, that we don't produce anymore. We'll do some that we do produce. Especially, I'm especially curious about the jet fighters and the uh, strategic bombers, how the Soviet Union is going to do that, because I do imagine they'd have nukes, and it'd just be nice to see them using them, because they don't really have an air force. I'll also send the Terreng Bil, uh, which apparently had the, the name when I requested is actually Likshist, shist, uh, sorry, <coughs> can't pronounce, Likshistan, uh, which means the coffin, pretty much. Um, <laughs> not a very good name I guess but yes let's uh, let's send this off I don't think maybe we should do motorized rocket artillery I mean, let's send some advanced artillery how many units are these 10,000 let's send I don't know 2,000 of these uh, only 204 convoys needed and we are producing quite a few convoys now uh, a day since uh, I did close the economy and now we have all the resources we need to do proper production um, and we're doing, what, how much is it? 3.85 convoys a week, which is pretty nice. Oh, I got them. This is perfect. So the Americans keep sending more and more and more troops over to this province. Uh, and I have air superiority over here, and I can just keep nuking them. And the more I nuke them, the more troops they send here. And it's just going to be beautiful, because every time I nuke them, at least uh, the last two times, I've killed about point... 05 mil million people, so that's like 50,000 soldiers. Uh, and the more troops they keep putting here, the more attrition they take, and the more people I kill when I nuke them. And they just can't attack. It's just, oh, perfect. So I've nuked that one province probably around 10 times by now. And uh, finally, they have more casualties, or, or less. They're getting closer and closer to having the same casualty number as the Soviets there. Oof. Actually, I'm really curious. Let's see if anything has changed on this front here. No. All adults serve. All adults serve. Yikes. 61 divisions attack 3 divisions and they still lose because nukes. You'd have thought that by now, you know, they realize that maybe it's not such a good idea. Of course, at some point they will break through because they'll run out of nukes, but they are just taking massive casualties for it. I'm sending some troops over, but I don't know. It's, uh, we're out of nukes. I know it, it. We only we make them in like 17 days or something, which is pretty fast. But um, I really don't know because we're in the 1960s, everybody. 1960s. The game was definitely not supposed to go on this long, and I'm not really sure if I want to go on or if you really are enjoying yourselves. We've done it. We've surrounded, what is it, 90 divisions, I think, and uh, this is going to be glorious. Oh, look at that. Just seven divisions completely destroying, wrecking these people. Uh, I, I wonder, what's the casualty rate at now? 12.43. Let's check it once we've overrun them. 12.56. Ah, oh, yes. We should probably have sent troops over to help these people out a long time ago, but... Oh well, we're doing it now. Um, however, I, I'm not like I, I, I really don't know if it's realistic to continue. Uh, I think it will be all up to you because personally, I'd really just like to get on with another campaign, and it seems quite inevitable. We we know how this is gonna end. Uh, the Comintern will win. This is just a fact, right? Uh, but it's just a matter of time and. It's pro it could take 10 years, it could take 20 years, it could take 30 years, but, you know, I don't know if you want that or if you want um, other campaigns. Personally, I want other campaigns. So, I started boosting communism in uh, normal China here also, because they have the communist uprising thing, and the more communist support they have, the more states rebel, and here, uh, 
a state rebelled, so that diverts troops and is pretty nice uh, whilst we push all the way back. I don't think, uh, I don't know how long this episode is now, but hmm, it seems like a hog to take all of this back and then invade the US. I haven't even taken Ireland, right? That's how difficult this campaign is. Alright, but you know what, I think uh, this will be the end of this particular episode, and maybe series, it all depends on how you respond, I don't know if I should continue or not. Again, personally, I'd just like to finish this off, even though I just love what we achieved. Uh, after all, we own uh, all of this, and we conquered the UK, we nuked like shit, I mean, I've, I've probably dropped over a hundred nukes by now uh, and we have puppeted Yugoslavia, we own southern Italy, Corsica and Sardinia we own... what do we own? Yes, we don't own much, but of course we have lost many many men um, just in this war against the Allies we've lost over 764,000 I think if I remember correctly against the Axis we lost 460,000 I'm not too sure but yes, let's end with one last bombing of Tokyo, because what would Tokyo be if not uh, our bomb target? Uh, or that It's where we test our bombs, if they're working right. Uh, let's see this, and kabam! That will be the last nuke we drop in this particular campaign. Of course, we might continue, who knows. Um, but, you know, I just really feel like tr trying out Communist Germany. I think that's next up for us. And yes, let's uh, check out the exit screen. All right, here we go. So, Folkemet, Communist Sweden. We took fifth place in terms of score, uh, which is lovely. I think, how is this ranked? Is it ranked by... It's not ranked by score right now, but oh well. Let's uh, let's see this. It says that the Allies have a strength of 323 and the Comintern 120, but I think that's just like victory points that we haven't... Because we own most of the the world right now, but this is like the uh, de facto, not the de jure uh, victory points. And so, if we just take a look here... Uh, sort by score like so, we see that the Communist States of America has a large amount of score from their air power. But if that was just gone, of course, they would disappear. Uh, in time, I do believe the Comintern would win this war, and I hope you agree with me. So we'll just claim a victory. Uh, in any case, again, Communism did win after all, because we've converted most of the planet. And let's see, the United Kingdom, but they're gone. I don't know why they should have such a high score. It's mostly from the air power that they possess. Which I don't know, like, how do they keep their manpower, like, going without... It's just really odd. Uh, Germany, Socialist Republic, 700 score, what? You're, you're a puppet, how can you even have a higher score than us? Yes, our score is 496, but we, of course, are in fourth place, because... Uh, I don't think a few of these, like China and the UK, don't actually count on the way. No, yeah, no, we are in fifth place. Yes, all right, okay. And land score-wise, we are still fifth. Factory-wise, we are fourth in the world. Air Force, we are fifth. Um, in terms of naval power... Or wait, did I sort by... Yes, naval power... We are fourth, and military-wise, we are actually pretty far down, but that's mostly because of our manpower. But yes, that is it. It seems uh, like we have uh, won after all. Or, yes, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. Alright, thank you so much for watching. This has been Game Gabster. Don't forget to leave a like, it really helps the channel out. Let me know what you think about this campaign. Should we continue, should we not? What should I play next? It's probably going to be Communist Germany, but you know, I always like to hear suggestions. And as always, this has been Game Gabster. I'll see you later. Farewell.